Welcome to a brand new podcast. This is the Oracle 19, and my name is Greatness. If you want to put your brand on this platform, you can email me at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. And same email if you want to make a free will offering. We definitely can use your support as we expanding different countries same email same email which is evolution of london at gmail.com so definitely support the machine that way also you can shop to our baby shopping mall which is www.evolutionoflondon.com we have a whole wide range of products from kids men's ladies clothing artwork house products Furniture, close to 20,000 different products, so definitely support, check it out, www.evolutionoflondon.com. Also support our second website, www.evolutionoflondon.org, O-R-G. There we have custom clothing, accessories, digital products for personal as well as business use, so definitely support that. Finally, Evolution of London, Evolution of London dot store, S-T-O-R-E, where we have accessories such as DVDs, lotions, soaps, and we ship all throughout North America, so definitely check that out. Check out the company Royalty 9 International, that's a luxury candle company where they have scented as well as unscented candles, uh, 100% soy soy wax candles, and the scented candles is from frankincense, myrrh, jasmine, peppermint, eucalyptus, rose, just to name a few, so email them at royalty9international at gmail.com, and check out their social media on TikTok, royalty9international, as well as Instagram, royalty9international. Support Mr. Will. He's been a fitness consultant for over 15 years. If you want to book a consultation, email him at willysfitness99 at gmail.com. That's willys, W-I-L-L-Y-Z, fitness99 at gmail.com. And also support his merchandise, www.wjaaccessories.org, O-R-G. They have custom clothing, accessories, as well as digital products as well. So definitely support his brand. Support Ari Bites Cafe, located downtown London, Ontario, Caribbean Takeout. They open Monday and Thursdays, 12 to 6. They close on Wednesdays. Open Thursdays and Saturdays, 12 to 6 as well. Their telephone number is 519-858-4743. And Ari Bites Cafe, they accept all forms of payment, including Intact, MasterCard, Visa. And please note that taxes are not included. Their website is www.irebites.ca. That's I-R-E. Oh, excuse me. Let's start again. I R. I E B I T E S dot C A. So that's triple W dot Irie Bites dot C A. And if you want to email them, you email them at info at Irie Bites dot C A. And again, as always, you can't go wrong. Music, cheap limousine channel. 
whole wide range of different beats that you listen to now. So once you go to his YouTube channel, you will see other social media platforms. So definitely support Cheap Limousine channel. Wide range of different beats. And continue on the train of YouTube, Greatness 19 channel. Again, I'd like to thank y'all guys for supporting and subscribing to the Greatness 19 channel. We almost have 1,000 subs, so I thank you for that. And I just need y'all guys to really buckle down. We almost there. Approximately maybe about 195 more subscribers left. So I need y'all guys to buckle down and go to that channel and subscribe, 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 and pass the word around because I need to get to 1,000. Again, there's a lot of work to this. And if you want me to continue putting on the putting the content and doing the best I can, I need your help to and it's free. So the Greatness 19 channel on YouTube, that's an educational channel, whole wide range of educational programs to open up your third eye. Also, I need you to support Mr. Evolution of London. That's our health and wellness channel. We have a whole wide range of things that are health and wellness. And I'm going to be posting different stuff dealing with just improving your life. I do it to the best of my ability anyway. So support and subscribe to Mr. Evolution of London, our health and wellness channel on YouTube. Now we have all the different links to other social media platforms, www.linktree.com forward slash Evolution of London. Different links to other affiliates, so definitely check that out. Also, we do have a Patreon channel, www.patreon.com forward slash Evolution of London. There we have videos that is not on YouTube because, again, YouTube keep either shadow banding, shadow banding me or suspending me, taking videos away or blah, blah, blah because, you know, it's, it is what it is. So I definitely would need your support with that. And it's cheap to be a monthly subscriber. Patreon.com forward slash Evolution of London. And again, the Oracle 19 podcast is on all major platforms. We're on Anchor.fm, Google, Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, just to name a few. Any information I haven't mentioned would be in the description box of the Oracle 19 podcast. The Greatness 19 channel, as well as Mr. Evolution of London, and also our internet radio, www.theoracle19radio.com. So support the machine. It's plenty to support. All right, well, today we're going to talk about, as always, I give my perspective on, on things. So, something you can check out. Today we're going to talk about something I talked about the ladies, how to be a woman, the last show. Today we're going to talk about how to be a man. I know your ladies, yay. But it's fair and balanced. Because a lot of men are emotional savages emotional animals I checked in social media New York News guy was with his mammy I mean his mother his french fries is cold at Mickey D's and he's gonna wanna have a little hissy fit because his french fries is cold Arguing with the McDonald's worker or whatever the case. I got a little bit of the story. But anyway, it trickled outside of the store. Guess what happened? The emotional animal shot and it killed the worker. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, we know what happened. This guy's now in jail. 
over some fries. Emotional animals. A lot of times, when you roll the tape, single mom. It goes just like that. No father figure, no man in sight. And a lot of these men here, young men especially, are very emotional. They are. They're very emotional and they wicked. Emotional, evil, and wicked animals. Evil and wicked and emotional animals. What can you say? How can you be a leader, man, if you are emotional savage? You want to shoot a person and, and do a murder death kill off of some french fries. Because your french fries was cold. Cold. I mean, you know, I see these things in real time. A lot of men are very emotional. Crying all the time. I told you a couple of weeks ago. I had a show where a nine-year-old boy. Single mom. And if it was a dad around, he's probably emotional too. I talked about it. He was at a baseball game. And he we got a ball in his hand and celebrated. But like a like a emotional boy of 2022, he just don't jump for joy and just be happy. And that's it. He just got to cry. He just got a ball. I don't want to really get into the story. All right, well, I talk a little bit about it. I it was I, I try to be brief. A story back where a little boy was in Toronto at a baseball game of Yankees against the Toronto Blue Jays, and he, you know, the ball was uh, fouled, uh, was hit, and it went in the stands near his area. A boy, a man, a grown man, he was in the Toronto Jays uniform or, you know, jersey, and he ha- caught the ball, but he decided to pass it to the boy, and, you know, the boy was in their Yankee uniform, uh, Yankee jersey, and, you know, he, instead of just, okay, thank you, sir, or whatever, you know, smile and be happy, and, you know, just what kids should, normal boys should do, he just start, you know, weeping and hugged the man. That's not his father or uncle or relative. This is just a stranger. He's hugging them. Oh, I wanted to delete his. I just wanted to delete this guy. Respectfully. I don't mean any violence. I'm just talking nonsense right now. But this boy is. It goes with the topic anyway. How to be a man. This guy had no chance if he's going to be crying for a ball. Imagine when he gets a job. When he's 18. If he's crying off of a baseball. Imagine when he's 18. Getting his first job. A ball said, I had never had a job before. <laughs> With the wrath of God, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Just off of the face of the earth, off this guy. No good for society. How are you going to run a family? How are you going to be a leader? He's crying at nine, he'd be crying in his first job. Imagine he meets his first girl. Oh, I love you, baby. 
Oh, I need you. Don't you ever leave me, girl. I love you. Ah! This guy is 24. Off with your head. In the name of your God. What's the point? How to be a man. Most men out here is emotional. You're supposed to be a warrior. You're supposed to be out here in the trenches. You're supposed to be the backbone of your woman. Here, your woman got to be the man. So many emotional men out here. Men rise. You are you are the prize. There's more women than men. There's a reason why. What's the matter with you? This is why this is why and I don't blame women. I'm not even knocking women on this. This is why a lot of women don't respect men. Because a lot of you is emotional. How can a woman respect an emotional man? Crying all the time and indecisive. His fries is cold, he can't even think straight. He's ready to get his... God damn it. And start airing it out. Now what? He can't, he's not going to work anymore. He's finished. He's in jail. Was it worth it? Because of a french fry? The logical thing to do, men, if you can't get proper service, I want to speak to your manager. If you can't get a manager, if no, no more, if no manager is around, you leave. A manager will show. You call up, speak to the supervisor, be a thinking person. So many men out here is just and just emotional, running around here just doing crazy things. There was another incident in NY. Mother and 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 son having a fight and stabbing each other. Both of them in the hospital. This is like WWE. Now I'm going to switch this off. I'm going to switch this off for a moment uh, because it goes right back to this. A lot of single moms out here that don't know how to raise children. And they don't know how to raise sons. Let, let I'm I'm going this is a little different here ladies you, you're gonna have to take this but this is factual a lot I would in my personal opinion 90 I would say 90 percent of women especially in North America single moms do not know how to raise boys hell they don't even know how to raise daughters but we're talking about the boys right now. And it shows. You think you know everything, but you don't. Ladies with children raising by yourself, you don't know. And it shows. It really do. And and a lot of blame, a lot of blame is on your shoulders. Because it definitely show you raising nothing but emotional trash. And that's a reflection on you. Because you the one is taking care of the children. But here's the thing. Reason why you raising emotional trash. Number one. You carrying on. Different men is boogieing in your house. Why these boys see it, see this? How you expect 
them to have any respect for you, ladies. When you see different men, when when the children see different men in their lives, strangers. Sam, one day. Bobby, another day. Chris, another day. James, another day. And you expect these boys to have stability, but yet and still you women think you know everything. Y'all ladies is a bunch of degenerates. This is why you have degenerate sons. And you swear you know everything. And you don't know ish. The little boys and girls, but I'm specifically say boys. They see you smoking weed. You a parent for God's sake. Stop acting like a child. They see you smoking weed. No standards. Even if you have your own personal belief about smoking marijuana, have some dignity, have some class. You want to interject smoking because you smoke? So if I, I'm going to go off the end, this is a little bit off topic a little bit, but this is, is a point between it. So if you've seen me smoking crack in the house, in front of children. What do you think? I'm a functional guy going to work, whatever, but I'm smoking crack. Is that an image? And most of these boys see their mothers all tattooed up from the neck to the feet. Is this an image? You tell me. Now, I know a lot of women is not going to like that because they fit that profile. Tattoo, smoking, Degenerate behavior In my personal opinion How you think these boys What do you think they're going to see They also see You with Having women Chilling at your house You playing Little footsie with the other woman You don't think these kids Know what's up when it is in Your room You trying to put them to bed at 10 o'clock and you and your play thing is in the room? Male or female? You don't think these kids... They, they look and they analyze it. And it goes in their memory. And it messes up their brain. Because when they're older, this is the end result. Emotional savages. But yet and still, you single moms know everything. Now, this, this is what it is. And you find the results. 90% of the problems is usually these emotional boys is single moms. And then these single moms, everybody, all these children should call different, different men daddies. Daddy number one, daddy number two. What do you think is going to put in these little boys' brains? Chaos, pain, misery, but yet still you know, you know, y'all single women know, you don't even know how to wipe your butts, how you know how to raise your child, you obviously prove that you can't do it, you just dare to suck up the government's money, it shows these teenage boys out here in training, they shooting up in the day in the, in the cities near you. Day and night. How to be a man. Can't be from you, ladies. And then these ladies, these boys, be sent off in the wilderness at 18, had no clue how to be a man. Well, guess what? I'm going to give you my perspective. It might not mean ish to you, but it might mean something to one young man in training. 
first of all, you can't be listening to a woman that is have erratic behavior. I don't care if it's your mammy or your grandmammy or your great grandmammy, because half of these women in these different generations they are erratic. They don't know from their head to their behind. They got no discipline. And these are your mothers and grandmammies and great grandmammies, young men. So you have to overlook them. Because they and they have you in a household of chaos. You living in slums. You barely eating properly. You're not being taught anything. Your, your, your mammy's not teaching you nothing. Just send you in the room with a book and say, go read. They're not teaching you nothing. I know a lot of you men probably haven't taught anything, but you say, that's my mama. That's my mama. But you quickly want to go after your father's throat. You don't even know the reasons why your mother and father is not together. And majority of time, reason why your mother and father, your father left or he wasn't, he's not with your mother because your mother ain't ish. And he knew it. And he just got caught out there with you. So he just said, it ain't going nowhere. Now, I know there's different ways that, you know, you supposed to be with your children and all that stuff. I get all of that. But let's keep it 100. A lot of these men, the woman know what she's dealing with. The man know what she's dealing with. And you just came about. And he's not even trying to hang with you, young man, because he know he, if he hang with you and or if he even spend time with you, he got to deal with this ain't-ish biatch. So it's pointless. I'm not saying it's right. But this is the story of your life. I know a lot of you. And you can vouch for that. So you got to learn how to be a man on the fly, on your own. And one of the rules of being a man is... Getting in a dominant position. See, we in a capitalist society. Get your money right. This is step one. Before you talk about bringing a person in your kingdom, in your household. Don't get, don't be bringing a woman in your house or wifing up a woman and stuff like that. And you are broke. Because guess what? You, she's going to have to take care of you And guess what She's going to throw it back at you Every time When she gets mad at you You are a man You're supposed to be a provider It's non-negotiable This is Man one on One oh one You're supposed to be a provider Maybe I'm not making sense here Maybe I'm not. I should, I should start charging y'all guys. You don't want to subscribe. You don't want to donate. But I'm going to keep going. Freak it. We're going to keep going. You guys, you men, get your money right. Where you able to provide if you want to marry a woman. But before that, if you want to be girlfriend and boyfriend, don't live, don't live with a female. You don't move in the female's house. You build a situation where she's living at your place. This is how you guys get caught up on the basics. Have her move with you. You don't move with her. Phase one. Respect is everything. And I mentioned this on plenty of shows. Men, be leaders. 
You're supposed to be, she's supposed to be late, depending on you. I know you're not a machine. We all feel emotions, but you are a warrior. You're supposed to be the warrior out of the group, out of the two genders. So act like it, men. How are you going to get respect from a woman and you crying? You arguing because, and I'm going to go right back to this, right back to this again, because the french fries is cold. Now you want to shoot up people. Seriously? How are you going to be able to raise a family being that emotional? Respect is everything, men. If a woman is not respecting you, it's okay. Just because she looks pretty, that don't mean she's for you. Learn to walk away. I know we make mistakes. I know we all, all of us not perfect. I get it. Got it. But before you get deep with that woman, don't get all captivated because of her her physical appearance. That's what you can get caught up. Learn to look learn to look deeper than her physical beauty cuz that's going to trap you. She could be nasty inside and outside. Literally. Y'all men got to stop this. Confusion. Your men need to be more worldly. Read books. Books of importance that open up your mind so you could be able to teach your woman. You got a lot of you men, majority of you men, you can't even stimulate a woman mentally. You got nothing to talk about. You only could talk about what's going to be happening at the club. Who's the most popular rapper? Who said what on Facebook? Nothing but gossip. Men, I blame you. You can't teach anything. You dumb. You dumb. Yes, you dumb. You, you, you. You dumb. This is why your woman don't, women don't respect you. Because you can't bring nothing mentally to the table, man. It is what it is. Bunch of nonsense. I blame you men. Learn, start reading. Start opening up your mind. Have abundance mindset, especially when you're young out here. Don't rely on one woman if she's not giving you cooperation. This is this is a big, big world. And now we have social media is much more bigger. The world, well, I should say, is more is smaller because you can communicate with women all over the world. But don't be a goofy, a gopher, a lame, a jerk. Allowing a woman to just run circles over you. I know we make mistakes. I made a hell of a lot of mistakes. But I rebound, recovered, strapped up my boots, and moved on. In a better place, mentally. But I want y'all young men to not have to go through the things that a lot of us older men had to go through. The nonsense. The uckery. Then curse. Uckery. See, you got to grow, men. How to be a man. Being a provider. Being circling with other men of like minds. Because there's a lot of weak men out here. Majority, two-thirds plus are weak. And they're always going to be weak. And they're going to remain weak until they die. But you... 
have a chance to circle circle the wagon around positive, strong men that can make you better. And especially with social media. You can listen to my podcast. I mean, I, I am, it's, it's podcast much bigger than mine. I know that. But I'm just saying, hopefully, maybe this might help you. I don't know. Maybe you might th- take me as a fool. So what? Maybe, maybe not. But you men, you got to do better. Or you're going to be like these emotional animals that's out here in these streets. I call another name is savages. Emotional savages. Bring nothing to the table but pain and misery. And I'm talking about these men out here. Men that you and I have to be on guard of. Because these emotional men will quickly want to delete us because of their emotions. Like if you arguing with the woman, let, they don't even know the story. You could be in the streets arguing with your woman. They want to put on their Superman cape and defend the, the other savage counterpart. So you got two savages, sav- savage men and savage women. And they both want to defend each other's honor because they want to destroy the righteous man. If you get what I mean. So you real men got to circle the wagon because there's men and there's males. And I talked about that on the previous show as well. Men versus males. So you got to be very, very careful. Build yourself up. Learn, circle the wagon and be around men with a, a, a positive mindset, a strong mindset, a manly mindset. You have to learn to survive, men. Know how to cook. Because if you're living alone, Wendy's is not the answer. Mickey D's is not the answer. Burger King is not the answer. Or any other place where you're getting street meat. Street meat is not the answer. Learn to cook and cook well for yourself, man. The basics. Learn to clean your house. Man, don't rely on a woman to come in your kingdom and have to clean up for you. Literally, clothes are all over the floor. you like a freaking slob. Learn to use deodorant, man. Cologne is your friend, man. Wash your buttocks, man. Brush your teeth. Man, stop being a nasty, disgusting degenerate when that woman meets you. What's the matter with you? This is why you lose respect. When the woman sees you, she always supposed to see you. You on the upgrade. You well groomed. You smelling good. You have common sense. You take care of your mind. You take care of your body. And that feeds into the soul. You're well-rounded. You educate yourself or you educate it now. She can see the man in you. That's what it's supposed to be. You're a warrior. Or you a princess. <laughs> Which is, what say you? Are you a, are you a man? Or are you a princess? These is the basics. Have some type of spiritualness to you. 
I'm not going to get into religion per se, which what where you should go. I have my own personal beliefs, but I'm not going to get into that. But don't be like an egg without no yolk. I'm going to say it again. If you're trying to be spiritual, don't be a like don't be an egg without no yolk. Because then you don't have no substance. If you get what I mean. See, so these are the basics in the house. Pay your bills to the best of your ability. You don't have to ask your woman. I mean, we all go through certain struggles, but be the number one. Handle your bills. When you start running around and begging your woman for money and all that to pay your rent and all that, she loses respect for you. We're not talking about exceptional to rule that downtime. We all have little hiccups in life. But don't be that guy laying up, playing PlayStation, while your woman is the man. This is not the ways of being a man. And you know what? You take care of your children to the best of your ability. Even if you're single, not now. Look, there's a lot of dynamics to that. I mean... You know, sometimes you can't get along with your woman and there's certain things and the man goes one way, whatever. But if you have a opportunity, if you have an opportunity where the woman is not blocking you and not causing no mischief, like not call it causing mischief. That's why I want to say in your life to make life difficult and you have the opportunity to be around your children. Hey, it's a beautiful thing because they need your help. They need you. I get it. But of course, in this day and time, I don't want that's a slippery slope because a lot of times women do a lot of shady things and men just say screw it because it will cause more damage for them to be around their children than not. And I know it's going to trigger a lot of people for me saying that is a case by case situation because there's some cases that the man got to be away. Regardless, knowing he got children, he got to be away because the woman is causing more grief to him than not. You just can't be in the burning building just because your children is around. Sometimes you're going to have to walk away. That's my personal belief. A lot of people will say different things. No, that's not being a man and stuff. You can't judge off of your case or your belief system because let me tell you something. I can bring you scenarios of why a man should walk away regardless of children. And I can also give you the reversal that he should stick around because of the case-by-case situation. It's a case-by-case situation. You cannot judge it. You could just state your opinion you could just say he's not a man, but no, it's a case by case situation because really women could do some underhanded things to try to destroy you. And I'd be good goddamn if I'm going to let a woman destroy me with or without children. I, I'm, I don't live that life. I'm not living my life where somebody is systematically just destroying me or trying to destroy me and use the child as a shield. But that's a different story. But do the best you can, men, in certain situations like that. To be a man is a hard job. (laughs) Especially a black man. It's a hard job. Probably, not probably, but the hardest job on the face of this earth. And a lot of people, a lot of races, they're not going to get this one. Only a few black men. Why? Because right off the gate, you growing up from young toddler to adolescent or a teenager to adolescent, so far adult, as a black man, you got to go through all different types of atrocities. School, work, walking down the street, law enforcement, everything. Your own woman, your other... Man, it's just you going through it every day, indirectly or directly. So it's twice as hard as a black man out here. And a lot of 
black men just like saying, oh, you know, that's a cop out, it's a cop out. No, I never, I'm not saying you just sit on your behind and just get in the fetal position. That, listen to what I'm saying. It's not about getting in the fetal position. It's just recognizing the game. And knowing how to play the game And don't be stuck on stupid saying Oh you know it's okay everything is Or you could be free and we in 2022 And you could do whatever Like Chris Rock said See with white people The sky's the limit Black people especially black men The limit Is the sky And I'm paraphrasing What he said back in the 90's in this comedy. But it holds true. White people, the sky's the limit. Black people, especially black men, the limit is the sky. But I'm not going to get all deep with that. I think what I said is straightforward. But as a man, You have to go through atrocities and overcome them. It's always going to be minefields out here. But that's what warriors go through. It's not an easy road walking in the shoes as a man. Especially as a real man in this era. Because there's so many fake news out here fake uh, lots of propaganda celebrating homosexuality so that takes away the the manhood of a man the style of dress that takes away the manhood of a man a man a real man can't even talk With authority in this day and time. Not to his family, not to his children, because he's ostracized. So now he's his manhood being chopped down more. He can't even tell his woman what he likes or don't like. Because society is chopping him down about his manhood. So that's more. He's dumbed down at work. He's dumbed down in the public. He's dumbed down in where he lives. He's dumbed down on TV. He's dumbed down on social media. He's dumbed down in everywhere, in every aspect of life. So it's hard to be a man. But guess what? You have the greatest power. On the face of this earth. Man. You have a great power. Man. I'm going to tell you. One of your greatest powers. Man. You can walk away. From anything. Anything. If you don't like a situation. You can walk away. Should you walk away. That's a case-by-case situation. But the greatest thing you have, you can walk away. Remember that. You don't have to take that. Everything in life is negotiations. When you work at a job, when you decide to work at a job, you're negotiating. You're deciding. You don't have to take that job. You want to go to a particular school, you might not like the school. You might not like the people. That's negotiations. You can leave that situation. You might not like the woman you with. She might be a pain in the neck. You have a choice. You can walk away. Even as a husband, you can walk away. Not saying right or wrong, up and down, but one of the greatest things in life, you have a choice. Now, choices do have repercussions. Yes, that as a man, you have to 
gauge the situation. And sometimes if you're in a situation, you're not sure. That's why it's important to have other men of mindset. Other manly men, intelligent men, strong-minded men that can counsel you. Because they have walked through that. See, the things that I'm telling you, I have been through. I'm an imperfect, perfect being, just like you. Listen to what I just said. Perfect, imperfect being. Or I could flip it. Imperfect, perfect being. So everything that I'm telling you, I have been through that in real time. And past time. So how to be a man. Also, you learn from your mistakes. That will make you into a better man. When you have gone through things in life, you should improve. And the improvement is being a better man. Because again, I made so many tons of mistakes, it's not even funny. When I talk to you, it seems like, oh man, this guy's a real intelligent guy. Yeah, I learned. I had to go through things. I put myself, and I blame me. I don't say that God did it, the devil did it, this person did it. No, I put myself in a position for failure and misery and pain. But that's how I became a better man. At least I like to think so. So I'm saying this to say this to you. Maybe you haven't been through the situations that I have been. But I'm explaining it to you so you could be, you could save yourself for one thing. Save yourself the drama. Save your mental, but also be a better man and improve. And you will find you get more respect. People, other women will respect you, so forth. Society will uh, respect you. Because you're improving as a better man. Dressing different. Dressing better. Another way. Learn how to speak. We all be with our friends and we use certain vernaculars. I get that. But again, you have to know where you are located. What you're doing. Business as well, versus personal. You just can't talk one way. Like you're an ape. These little things, I could go on and on, but this is to help you to be a better person in society, a be a better man, a be a top pick, I would say. So many other little topics I could talk about, but these is some that is in my head and I just have to regurgitate it to y'all guys. Men especially Learn to be a better man How to be a better man That's the topic How to be a better man Hopefully this will help you And you can push forward in life And pass the word Through the tests of time Thank you for listening